Hey everybody, Nick here with the Return of the Platinum Metal series. Before we get started, it would mean the world to me if you liked and subscribed below. Today we'll be completing the first Usonia mission, Arctic Storm. To earn the Platinum Medal, we'll have to keep William from becoming incapacitated, not use medical supplies, and destroy a Colico with William's deployed exosuit. Let's get started. Starting out, move ahead and take out the two units that approach you from the road. Proceed west and gain another friendly unit. When you come to a fork, send William up one road and your infantry up another. With the units here defeated, head further west to pick up your ward unit. Mason standing by! With these first enemy units, send your volunteers to hide behind the cover on the left. Send William to fight them straight on. This will minimize the damage to your volunteers. Deploy William's exosuit and put him in cover. At this fork up ahead, you want to send William one way and your infantry the other way. You'll come across a Colocal and some stormtroopers. Move William's exosuit to fire on the Colocal, and move the rest of your infantry back so the exosuit can kill the Colocal for the objective. With the Colocal objective complete, send all your units to the east to pick up your ward units. After getting your ward units, head north to help the volunteers stuck in the house. There'll be a quick ambush here from two vanguard units, but you outnumber them so you'll take them out quickly. After that, push forward and kill all the enemies firing on the house. Head north and defeat the enemies at the campfire. After clearing them out, head further north to collect your mechs. With one of the mechs still intact, head west for the first AA gun. Be careful, you may run into a patrolling unit along the way. Once the AA gun in the middle is taken care of, head further west to take care of the second one. Lower the drawbridge and take the enemies out in the area. Once the island is clear, take out the second AA gun. Mason standing Leave this charge at the campfire with William. Deploy his exosuit to take out the machine gunners in the vanguard, and then proceed forward to get your Salem mech. At the second mech, you will discover an enemy ambush. Keep your units in cover and keep an eye out for enemy grenades. Following the fight, pick up any nearby resources and also pick up the wreck. This is a good time to use your wards to repair your Salem as well. Just a quick reminder, do not pick up any med kits with any of your unit. You need to go through the mission without using any of them to get the objective. Just east of the first AA gun, you'll run into patrolling units. Take them out and proceed to the first AA gun.
Once you destroy the first AA gun, you'll get, you guessed it, another enemy ambush. Move William's exosuit to the front lines of the fight. Put all infantry in cover. Once the ambushing enemies are defeated, head for the southernmost drawbridge. Take out all the enemies on this island. Between all the units you have, you'll be able to take out anything the enemy throws at you, including an Ognevo that's on this island. Once all enemy units are defeated, go ahead and destroy the second AA gun. Head to the north side of the island to avoid the incoming patrol. When the coast is clear, run across the bridge and head for the drawbridge in the north. Clear out the enemies near the entrance. Send William and your Salem to finish the last AA gun on the left. Send your infantry to the right to activate a Nagan, capture resources, and man weapon systems. When you're ready to enter the last part of the mission, capture the flag at the airfield. What's the next move? Hide in the northernmost part of this island until all the enemies are across the drawbridge and out of range. Once they're gone, go ahead and push all your units across the bridge and head north for the northern drawbridge. If you're feeling cheeky, you can take out all these units right now, but we're going to go ahead and save that for later. At the airfield, take out the enemies in the center with William and your Salem. Keep an eye out for exploding cars and grenades. Once they're dispatched, send William and the Salem to the left and everyone else to the right. William and the Salem will take care of the last AA gun and any enemies over in that area. Your infantry will pick up resources, activate a Nagan, and pick up weapon systems. With the last AA gun destroyed, we'll need to get ready for a wave of enemies. We'll discuss placement in just a few seconds here. Before having William capture the airfield, go ahead and have your wards repair any mechs that need it. All enemies will be coming from the drawbridge we just came from, the one to access the airfield. So keep that in mind when placing your units. We still have to deal with the search party. New primary objective received. Place your Nagan and William's exosuit between the two platforms pointing towards the drawbridge you came from. Behind them, point your MG and AT gun down the same path. Place a volunteer unit on the south platform in cover. Place any gunner units you have on the north platform in cover. Put the Salem behind the gunners on the north platform. This will help out with any groses that jump up. William and your wards can hang back to stay out of the fight. 
Remember, we can't let William get incapacitated for this mission. The enemy will launch a bunch of colocol, some grozas, and some infantry at you. But with the setup we just did, you should be able to close your eyes and finish this fight no problem. The AI groza do jump now, so keep an eye on that. Most times that I played this mission, they only jump towards the units in the north, so the gunners. So that is why we set up the Salem behind them to help with that fight. Don't fret if you lose any units, just remember that William cannot get incapacitated. Once the last enemy unit goes down, you'll have completed the mission and earned your first platinum medal in Operation Eagle. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. We've got more Operation Eagle Plat videos on the way. In the meantime, stop by for a Twitch live stream at 8 p.m. Chicago time, Tuesday through Thursday each week. And follow me on the following social medias. Keep harvesting and we'll see you next time, everybody.